And we return. I think some. I can just already feel it coming, just based on previous experience. That there's gonna be somebody who come on, come on these videos like six months from now. Like, get the fuck out of this bank! What's wrong with you? Because I'm still around the bank. And it's always the people that come way later that are way more frustrated with how I'm playing the game. But hey, we got another code to another vault, so might as well just stop on by. Which one could it be? Not that one. Not the mama. Nope. Which one is it? No. Have I made a terrible mistake? Did I forget one? You're all open. Am I crazy? Thought we had more. This is a you. Seven seven three five. Server room B. Well, hello. And hello. <laughs> and hello. <laughs> this place keeps going. Oh, it's Max Hard to say name from Miloslav Yel Yelika. Yelika. Max. You were close to right. Looks like it was the pressure from that small explosion that fucked up some of the works in the VIP room, not the gas. Good thing I checked. One of the VIP lockers was hanging wide open when I walked into the room. Super secure my ass. If it was my money in this place, I'd be moving into the mattress right about, about now. Anyway, I've got everything fixed up. Might want to spot check the locker wiring for me. Though, uh, as my eyes and fingers tend to to not agree on things like this from time to time. Just dummy check, uh, make sure nothing got crossed. Code is 3020, don't steal anything. Another code! How is it, how do I get every code so easily? Also, where does that go? Is there anything hidden in this room? There's a vent up there, and a vent down there, and a vent all about. All right, I'm gonna spoil, I'm gonna explore the crap out of this place, and then we're gonna finally get a quest that tells me to come here. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna get to the thing that I'm supposed to get to in like two seconds as a result of all this pre-exploration I've basically done. Oh, so n none of the codes go to this room then. Alright. Curious about this place though. There's clearly a room back there. Interesting. So maybe that's what I can get to via these vents. Let's try this one up here. Hello. Looks awfully orange in here. Almost like it could be the back side of that one place I checked out already. It's not gonna get me to where I'm trying to go right now, though, so we'll keep that in mind for a moment from now. Alright. Oh. Nope. That wall looks suspicious to me, so I'm like, let's take a closer look for a second to that. Dead end. You can't all be dead ends. This place looks too kind of important. Hello, back side of the one-way glass. Ooh, more hacking software. I'll take it. I figure we'll do a once over with our real eyes, then we'll come back with our cyber eyes to pick up what I missed. But if there's too much clutter in the room, I have trouble picking it, uh, getting through it all in the, in the time I have. We do not have the code for you, but I'll probably hack you anyway. Alright. Cyber eyes go? No? Didn't see anything. Get that open though, that's convenient for me. Okay. So we can hack into the security, why not? No one seems to be paying that much of attention to us anyway. Uh, our goal is to get way over there, which is not easy. It doesn't spam. Let's see. It's a gear icon. Uh, spam, docks with rating of subordinates by one. Oh yeah, it reduces subroutines by one, increasing tracing time. That'd be good. That's the that's the way to go if I want to slow down the incoming the incoming trackers. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Get it going. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I think. Test yeah, granted. got it. All right. I can't control robots yet. I need to unlock that new skill. I can turn off cameras though, that's always fun, even though they're basically not doing anything anyway. 
So those are doors before. Oh. Okay, you got my attention. Look at that. They all went down. Interesting. Also, the lasers are back on. I don't like that. Okay. Oh. So originally that originally that door was closed, I think, and that's probably why everything was full of lasers and doom. Yeah, I don't I don't remember all these tall lockers being here when I first came in here. I think there were there was much more line of sight that was open at the time, so I think they rolled down when I first walked in. The time I was getting shot at and everything. And then when I unlocked the door, that changed everything. I can even yeah, I can even intentionally retract the uh, lockers. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. How about you? Let's get busy. Reveal software. Oh, this is a complicated looking one. My chance of getting through here without getting... without things going wrong was probably gonna be low. I'll, I'll use a stealth. Let's get our way in there. That uh, might not be good for me. I may have misapplied. Ah, uh, no, actually, he has, he has a surprisingly roundabout path to getting to me. Come on. Come on. I think we're clear. Right? Got it. We're all good. Ooh, breach software and some credit chips. Isn't that nice? We got, like, about 200. It's almost like picking up a, uh, sniper rifle or something. Okay. Not bad. Is that all we're gonna get out of here? I think it is. Ooh! It's a vault. Oh, these are all vaults. Are there more of them on the walls? No? The door doesn't seem to open? A laser still gone? Cool. Are there more vaults on the walls around here? Not necessarily. Alright. Now let's see where I can get from this weird top spot. This place is extensive. Alright. Here we go. I'm curious to see if this turns out to be some sort of weird backside of where I was going before when I turned off that fan, just because it's also another case of a, uh... Boop. It's another case of a... weird orange area. Hello. This is just part of the building. Where are we coming out? That, there's just the staircase over here? Alright. That's just the staircase that goes upstairs. How about over here? I hate vents! Ugh! Whoa! Got stuff hanging out of the wall. Oh, you're a dead end, aren't you? And this thing is not important due to the, uh... It's not a very important according to the Jensen vision. <laughs> oh man, they made the the Icarus animation really awkward in this game. Cause you can you can fall all the way down to the bottom of a fall, and then it resets the entire fall to then be like, no, no, we we remember Icarus. Here it is. See, we didn't forget. I'm like, no, game, it's too late for Icarus. You missed your chance for Icarus. All right, I'll figure out where to. I'll I'll figure out the codes to those guys at some point. At some point. Where am I? Oh, right. We're one floor down. So now what I can do is we've got a billion parts. Why don't I go ahead and just go check out that, uh... I'd go ahead and just go through that one door that was blocking us. That place seemed like it could be neat. It's so weirdly hidden. I like that nobody really notices me approaching this place. I should be so much more conspicuous while I'm doing this. Exiting restricted zone. In we go. No one even spotted me. Icarus. As my head goes plummeting through the wall. <laughs> Quite the animation. Hey there. And now I can work on you. Oh wait, I already have a multi-tool. No need to no need to waste parts right now. Alright. 
Things look pretty clear in there. Nothing that's gonna spot me right away. Whoa! Giant vertical area. Okay. I found key I found codes to vault and they didn't I didn't get access to anything, so maybe that's gonna be here. What does this thing do? Oh, we gotta get to both of those sides at once. That's not easy. Okay. Let's see. 60%. 60%. Chance of getting spo of getting caught seems kind of high. Let's just get busy. Anomaly detected. I got this. Trace program initiated. Quickly. Oh, quick click it. There we go. We should be good. Right? Access yeah. Granted. Everything's fine. What do you do? You turn lasers on and off. Why would I want to turn it on? Yay, I like getting caught. All right, well, that was a waste of time. I guess now if they ever turn on, I can turn them back off, so that'd be useful, potentially. What's the blue? What's the green? That's a whole other room over there. Okay, this place looks crazy. Let's find out. Yep. I got hop down from here. <laughs> All right, Icarus, you're getting silly now. What are you? Tai Young Medical. These must. Oh, yeah, these have to be the vaults. He talked about having like storage container-sized vaults, right? Like the types you would have. Yeah, that's what these are. This is the Tai Young's Tai Young Medical's uh, storage vault. It has a security rating of one. That's adorable. Are you kidding me? It's like you're not even trying. Access granted. Gotcha. Now why don't you open up for me? Deploy? Oh, what does deploy mean in this context? Ooh. What's going on here? Is that a ladder? You climb on top of it? Or do I just press this? Oh, we need a Taeyang Medical Vault key card to go into it. Oh, I have one of the vault key cards. Uh, da, 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 da. how do I get to that part of the screen? Over here, I think? No, here. Yes? Story items. Picus Vault key card. Oh! I probably could have gotten something out of the vault and given it to them, huh? And I have the Tarvos Vault key card. I have two Vault key cards. So I, I have the water thing and the flight dossier. I probably could have given them something from the Pikus thing. Wow, didn't realize how deep this was gonna go. I don't have a Taeyong medical key card though, so I think I might be screwed for this one. That's fine. Let's just find our way to the other vaults then. There's, there's no security down here. This, they, they're banking all their security on not letting people in in the first place. Not much indication of being able to go past that gate either. Interesting. The trash can in here. Uh, so all those gates are not openable by me, I don't think. Yep. Which one are you? Uh, Tarvo security. Okay. Can I just slide my card around here? No. Perhaps I always have to hack it. I mean, they're security rating one. They're kind of adorable in how easy to hack they are. I bet. You, what if Taeyong Medical's story related? That'd be interesting. I could see Tai Young Medical being a story-related thing because of because of the last game, so maybe I'll have to hack that vault later. Granted. All right, deploy. Hello. Are you costumes? Well, this place looks crazy. Weapons briefcase has. Well, that's boring. Revolver ammo. <laughs> How exciting. High priority. Garvin Quinn. That's the guy from the expan expansion of the first game. And then Janus. Okay. They're busy. More ammo types. More ammo types. A safe. There's a, there's a locked... There's a locked safe inside of a locked, a locked terminal? Interesting. 
Vault has a silencer. Oh, that's, that's what I get for using one, huh? Oh, pocket secretary. David, go in our vault and have a look. The computer code is all those things. <laughs> Check the access logs and uh, for dates and get back to me. This is a response to please be advised that I have logged unscheduled access to some of the vaults here in CTO of Palisade, Masaki Oshiro. I have uh, approached this individual and have been rebuffed, citing security concerns. Right, they've been freaking out about uh, unlogged access to these places. So the fact that I'm coming in here is probably just going to make this place freak out even more. Hello! The Cote d'Azur Combat Rifle. What is your dealio? Okay. Are you a super gun? A variant of the FR-27 SFR, the widely deployed combat long arm used by military forces, corporate security, and special police and tactical units, this model has been upgraded for urban warfare against augmented enemies, fires a three-round burst with a compressed air rotary helix feeding system, and then uses fin stabilized discarded Sabot 5.56x45mm NATO flechette ammunition, upgraded with electromagnetic pulse capabilities. Seems neat. Might never use it. Maybe I'll get a cool non-lethal custom weapon. That'd be nice. Well, we know the code to this guy now. All right, so let's go ahead and do enter password and do this te slightly tedious password. L K M. Do I have to do caps lock? L K M N. If no nothing else is easier to read from here. Zero one two five nine K N M L. Gotcha. Court transcript. Andy, I think this is the section we're talking about. I have the rest of the record on file somewhere. Let's see. Is there more down here? Nope. Alright, so the transcript is... Sergeant Jonathan Folks. Cross slash EWHC. That you, categorically uh, that you categorically deny any knowledge of methods utilized by personnel in your employee. Let's see. Uh, so it's, uh, this is, yeah, it's court statements. Sorry, it's, it's a weird way to describe it. So everything has lines numbered, but that doesn't, but those are not bullet points. Each number is actually still part of the same sentence. So I don't know who the first person talking, it might be QB, talking to ASJ. So ASJ says, if you will refer to my, my prepared statement, we have already heard your statement, so, uh, Mr. Sergeant John Folks. I am trying to ascertain the facts in the face of these very serious allegations. Human, tra human trafficking, war crimes, unspeakable experimentation on... Allegations only. The bell tower... Uh, that bell tower is even suspected of such atrocities. Is the word... Uh, is, on the word of known cyber criminals is a travesty. They are known anarchists. The source of proof does not repudiate it, sir. The events of the Australian offensive are part of the public accord... A record. We are under contact with, uh, we are under contract to South Australian Federation. It is war. That excuse was stale decades ago. Private military contractors have been brought low by less. The information that came out of Rifleman Bank Station, rumors, nothing but hearsay. And we've suffered for it already. Sir, in the court of public opinion, you are already guilty. I strongly suspect that the, fu the future of Bell Tower Associates is not, and then just cuts off. Awkward. It's a really weird transcript system, and it's so weirdly incomplete and cut off in both ends. Uh, Luna instant messaging auto save. The conversations automatically saved your conversation history. Uh, how much is this going to hurt us? Personally? Not much. We're going to have to downsize somewhat. That's fine, but contract-wise? Many of our existing clients will be on board. You know the same uh, uh, management will be behind the new name. Many of, of the same personnel. All good news. My worry is keeping the transfer out of the public eye. The public are idiots. Once this all blows over, they'll completely forget the name Bell Tower Associates. So you don't think Tarvos security brand will be affected? That's what rebranding's all about. And your job, right? Yes. So Tarvos is just Bell Tower. So they're shit bags. And I should probably just blow up this whole part of the bank. <laughs> uh, from Dugan to Folks. Good day, Luther. Just a quick message to keep you up to date. Tai Young Medical has re-upped as expected. Mostly the same personnel will stay in place. The new uniforms will 
ha will have been shipped as soon as possible, as soon as available. The contract in Brunei has been approved. It took a lot of negotiating, but I was able to sway them. It's a big one. They are looking for us to provide upwards of 300 troops. They'll be patrolling Bandar Seri Bhagawan and a number of their offshore oil concerns. Palisade Property Bank in Prague has also come on board. Much of their security is automated, but they feel a physical presence is necessary for them to promote the sense of safety and security their clientele has come to expect. I'm not going to argue with them. Small output of, man of manpower for now, but I get the sense that well, that will be expanding soon. All in all, Tarvo security is picking up right where we left off. Brian. There we go. This has been interesting. Learning things about bad guys that we're not fans of. Ooh. This looks like a, it could be a little bit of a mess. Let's give it a shot. Is it going to immediately set us off? Yes, it, yes it will. Trace program initiated. Oh, crap. I went the wrong way. My bad. I'm in trouble now, aren't I? Uh, stop. That'll give us the time we need. There we go. Granted. I thought the top path was gonna loop around to the left, but it was a dead end. Whoops. But we got it. And that's what those things are for, is to be used. Alright, gonna keep... I have no... Oh, it's freaking revolver ammo. Alright, well, I'll sell it. Screw these guys. It's not, the important thing is not what I'm going to use here. The important thing is that I'm robbing Bell Tower, because fuck those guys. They're terrible. Can I, t I kind of wish I could steal these costumes, because you can customize uh, Jensen's costumes. There's like a whole wardrobe menu dedicated to it somewhere. I've kind of forgotten where it was. The down... What's kind of a bummer about the whole wardrobe system is that you have to like... You have to basically reload the game to put them on, so I was not in a hurry to do so, because doing so is going to involve... Uh leaving the game, which was kind of a bummer. Okay, so anything else going on here? We've already accessed the computer. Oop, there's one. Aha! Mine templates. Another one. Nope, that one's empty. Is that all we can get out of this place? What's the point of this? We got a bendy screen that bends! Woo! We're, we, can buck, we can afford expensive stuff because we're bell tower and we suck. Alright, that's that one down. We have to go deeper, though. Nope. Oh, no awkward repeat of our Icarus landing. Nothing in here but a trash can. And nothing hidden under a trash can? Okay. I <laughs> I'm trying to put it back, but he raises it too high, and I can't get it past the barrier. Any real risk? Ooh. You can go even lower. Interesting. What causes that? I'll check for terminals in a moment. Let's see if I can hack this or not. Still security ranking 1. That makes me think this is all story related and I just don't know what the context is yet because I keep... This all... This all seems so suspiciously story related. Whenever there's security ranking 1 stuff, you can almost always guarantee that's going to be somehow related to, uh... Trace program initiated. Here we go. You, you, whenever there's a rank 1 story stuff everywhere, that usually means story related. Because if you can't... If you need to, if you need to hack something to open it, they always make it rank one, or otherwise you, have, you risk the game becoming unbeatable, which is something that a lot of RPGs were famous for being. Once upon a time, there we go. Just to remind ourselves, which which door did I actually break into? I'll just remind myself this way. So the other card I had was, oh right, it was Picus. This is Picus's vault. Oh, we could learn stuff about them. All right. Hello, hacking software. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. We have another triangle code. So here's that if you're one of those people that cares about that. I don't know if any one of those people exist, but there you go. It's kind of funny to me thinking that because of how the QR codes work, you could totally be, you could be accessing that stuff via Let's Play. <laughs> In fact, you could be accessing stuff via Let's Play that I never even access as somebody who's actually the one playing. You could even not even have the game and probably access the stuff. I don't actually know how the app works and what its confines, confine, what's constraints might be. Uh, can't I just hack you? No, you're right next to me. Huh. 
I wonder if you can't hack the uh, enemy starting point anymore. Oh wait, we're not connected. Right. Okay. Uh. I'll stealth. No. Let's at least try multiple times before I start wasting resources. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Got him. Got him. We're good. Access granted. Got it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You worry too much, person that probably is not worrying. Ooh! Yes! I will take like a thousand credits and freaking three multi tools. Jeez! Are you serious? That made this whole thing worth it. I just got three multi tools. And the earlier exploration gave me like 300 more parts, so. Oh wow. I'm gonna have multi-tools for days, and if I finally invest points into my hacking properly, then I also won't even need them prop that much until there's something time-intensive where I can't just hack myself. Another secretary? Alo, uh, alo, Sandrine. This is, uh, from Amelia Pusea to Sandrine Assad. I hope Alex has given you your itinerary for Prague by now. If not, poke him soon. The appointment is already scheduled. Palisade will be uh, sending you confirmation. Also, pick up the storage package from Gary on Friday. He'll run you through where uh, where he has... What? He'll run you through where he has what in the vault himself... What? I'm not crazy, right? That doesn't make sense. He'll run you through where he has what in the vault himself... Oh, he's trying... Like, where, where stuff in the vault's located. That's a terrible way to phrase that sentence. Uh... You may need access to some files in the vault's computer. Password is that. Finally, I'm glad you decided to take my advice and spend a few extra days here. Enjoy the city, it's beautiful. I'm slowly getting access to the entirety of what this, this bank stores here. They're gonna probably be really freaked out pretty soon here when they literally run out of, like... Re oh, really? The password is Newsmaker? Right. Front to, uh, pr front to pr I started pressing it at first without actually... There we go. At first, I didn't actually, uh, start entering the password. I was just typing it on a, on a screen that's not meant for it. From Amelia Pusera to M... to M. Everett. We're already on it, Morgan. We've been working on something here since the broadcast aired. I think our best strategy is simply... is, is to simply flood the infosphere with rumors about what really happened. You have a window here while confusion reigns. The more contrasting information we put out there, the better. People are looking to, be uh, to believe in something. The more matches their prejudices, the more likely they'll latch onto that fact. We even have a name for the whole initiative, the Og Incident. Oh, this is about talking about the Og Incident. This is why we're constantly talking about this. Sounds good, right? The perfect amount of gravitas with just a little blame thrown in. It's testing off the charts. We're thinking of running daily extended segments as well as hourly reports. This thing will be huge. Here are a few angles we've been working on. It was caused by a single evil man, a supervillain. Darrow, of course, this is playing well to a certain demographic. As a side note, we've been looking to cast a lone hero or whatever. You know, found long after the initial incident, possibly floating in the ocean, but we haven't found anyone suitable. Might be better to imply the presence of a secretive solitary hero who sacrificed himself to save the world, what do you think? The Augmented were victims of some kind of conspiracy, or maybe they were part of one. That stuff sells. There, there are people out there that will believe anything if we mention some shadowy cabal. The corporate's blunder. Uh, the corporate blunder. Another one of the of the uh, another one for the soiled masses. I don't think we want to target any particular company. There will be some slinging at Taiyang Medical since they distributed that chip just before the Og incident. See how that works? Occurred. But I think that we're okay with that. Let's be honest, the whole industry will be dead soon anyway. That's just the start. I think we can completely swamp that initial broadcast, and within a week, no one will know what really happened. But everyone will think they know. Besides, the truth is, most people won't care what caused it. They already have someone to blame. All the surviving augmented. As for our other problem, until we get her back online and in line, we're looking to roll back versions. Tech, uh, we're looking to roll back versions. Uh, tech is on it. We are confident she'll be uh, tractable soon. Amelia, this is messed up. We're literally talking about. We're, they're literally talking about inventing the entire controversial story that's constantly going on about what happened. 
This is in response to damage control. We have a problem. The broadcast for Adapanchea is, is causing ripples where we don't want them. She has to be brought back to the fold, and this situation has to be controlled. I want to fix this ASAP, Morgan. Wow. So we just found the exact email that's about causing the AUG incident story and framing it this way, and kind of helping... I mean, it, the fact that AUGs went, went nuts and attacked people for a, while that was happening is, was, is enough damage on its own, but... This is people intentionally deciding to do to spread the controversy and frame the story around like what's what can ultimately be a part of the problem of why Augs are being treated the way they are right now. Let's start with the first email here this time. Uh, important matters. Hello, Bob. We have some uh, things to discuss, my friend. I think it's going to happen sooner rather than later. He puts on a good front, but Roman says uh, as soon as the rest of us leave, he practically collapses has to be almost carried to his bed. Thankfully, the cryopod is ready. We have to be ready as well. The council grows more divided every day, but I believe approaching them one at a time and showing them some of our unauthorized projects will pull them back on track. On that note, I've branched to the Eliza, I've branched the Eliza program from a backup version of the M initiative. Have you had a chance to look at it yet? I want to know just how it got out of control like that. The current live version that is running is a regression. It should be safe enough. I only hope there are, that we are able to isolate it completely. Morgan. Oh, right. That, there's the whole email above that. Uh, Morgan, I understand your reasoning, but I th still think letting him die would be safer. However, I'll acquiesce to your judgment. I have uh, had a chance to examine Eliza, and it definitely will be a good starting point for the M initiative. We need a name for this. Mandrake? Morpheus? Master? Something? I wouldn't worry about complete isolation. I'm not sure the program is sophisticated enough to cause any trouble on its own. Besides, where would it hide, BP? Direction. Time for our monthly. Great job last month, by the way. Numbers are up across the board, ex uh, expecting Pikus Sports. Oh, accepting Pikus Sports. Okay, yeah. But uh, that was expected. We'll have to find some way of generating interest in augmented athletics in this anti-aug climate or generate interest in non-augmented sports. Long story, uh, uh, long shot when you've already seen what can be done, right? Anyway, all divisions, cut all items about retribution violence against Augs. No more Aug killing sprees, no more Aug hunts. Sentiment is shifting slightly towards empathy. We don't want that. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's even darker. So on top of making the uh, on top of the anti og narrative and the and after what happened, they're also just specifically choosing to ignore any stories about bad things happening to Ogs because people might feel bad and that wouldn't work for us. Nightmares. Increase coverage of the Taggart registry code and maybe start running stories on Og producers instead. Could be interesting to focus on the danger posed by black market suppliers. Pygus conf confidential. Do we have any dirt on high-profile individuals that are augmented, but have kept it hidden? Love to have a few exposés on this segment. Work up something lurid as, uh, uh, lurid if possible. It has to pop. Great job, everyone. Keep up the good work. Emilio Pusser. <sighs> After all the time I've spent playing Dishonored, I just want to find a way to corner Amelia in her office and give her, like, one of those face brands that gets her kicked out of society. That's a different universe, though. That's how dishonor. That's how dishonor works. So you, where you just do things that discredit people and destroy them, but you usually have to deal with them in other ways. Oh no! There's a massive earthquake. Death uh, toll reaching forty-five thousand. But look at this. Look at these notes. All right. And now it's easier to see from here. All right. Oh. Uh, they're gonna Photoshop this stuff to change the narrative. So we have a picture of several normal people attacking an augmented person, but we don't want to notice the actual like hate nightmare here. So they want me to—they want to Photoshop out the augmented leg so it looks like a normal leg, and they want to Photoshop augmentations to onto the arms of the attackers to completely change the narrative, remove the fire completely. Change the clothes. Victim should wear a suit or something corporate. Wow, this is really dark. And they're even saying, there's even notes like, don't use military augmentations on the arms because that would 
give away the idea of who's who. You need to make sure make sure it looks like a normal civilian. This is <laughs> You're just an evil company. Final results, yes, 88%, no, 11%, state secession, civil unrest. This is about a country removing itself. Uh, doesn't say what country specifically, and the map's too low res to read, so somebody who's better at reading maps will have to get that. Might, it might be this area, right? Pandemic across states. Ebola that are resistant to traditionally effective treatments. Remain cause of great concern. Viruses progress. So Ebola's spreading. We have anti og hate. That looks like vague code stuff. Please add hostile ogs in the background. Oh, geez. Remove one of the officer's helmets. Add wounds and damage to some of the policemen. Add weaponized augmentation to the human. And just completely remove the kicking leg. Oh, geez. So in, we have a picture of the policeman, as we've seen up, up, up on the surface, tormenting an augmented person. And instead, they want to make the augmented person look threatening, and they want to make the policeman look heroic. And personify them by adding a face. Yep, add some nice visible augmentations. It even says nice visible augmentations, similar to this. Flip the script, victim is not augmented, can we make him cleaner? Yep. Please reframe image to landscape format. How are you going to reframe it to, to landscape? Do you have a different photo? I guess you would have a landscape photo if it's taken by camera. Also, is it the same guy from the other picture? Maybe not. I don't think I recognize him. Not necessarily. Well, you guys just specialize in being shitbags, don't you? Uh, I already robbed you guys, right? Just making sure. You know, let's just be extra sure. Did I already... I already... Because I couldn't quite remember because I just finished doing all that other stuff, so I just want to double check. But yes, I did rob them. Because fuck these guys. God damn it, Picus. Alright, yep, they're about as evil as possible. We don't even get to talk about them being... It's not like the, uh... What is it? Like, like John Stewart made a pretty decent point about media in general calling people sensationalist and lazy when it comes to storytelling. And it's, li it's nice to believe that kind of concept. But in this particular case, uh, this isn't about being sensationalist and lazy. This is about literally manipulating the message and making people's lives worse for the sake of just... Just making... Just selling papers. Just selling your news. That's horrible. They're horrible. Alright, let's get right up back up to the surface.